Sometimes we have a long road ahead of us, and we think it's so terribly long that we'll never make it. That's what we think. And then you start rushing. And you rush and you rush. Every time you look up, you see that the road is no shorter than it was before. And you stress and you strain and you start getting frightened and out of breath. And you can't go another step. You must never think of the whole road all at once. Do you understand? You must always think of only one, just one, one step at a time. One breath, one stroke of the broom, one at a time. Then it's fun. <laughs> that's important. Then you do your job well. And that's how it should be. All of a sudden, you realize you've gone the whole way, step by step. You didn't even notice how you did it. You aren't even out of breath. That's important. We're here now in the famous Monaco Yacht Harbor, where the trip to Monaco ends. It's a pretty crazy thing to start with a backpack running in Salzburg, uh, not even two weeks ago. And now being here at the sea, after lots and lots of kilometers, <laughs> hiking and flying and a crazy adventure. Uh, today I, I just didn't reach the final turn point for 10 minutes. But as I told before, um, they, because of a national holiday here in France, they made a big airspace around Nice, which uh, made also the last turn point a uh, non-flying area for today. So even if I would have been 10 minutes earlier here, down here, flying, I wouldn't have been able to fly directly to the turn point. So I would have to land and then walk over and stuff like this. So I, uh, I would have had to be half an hour earlier here flying but anyway it was the best 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 very best flight of the whole excerpt for me the last flight because uh, when I woke up in the morning on the pass in the high mountains still there was lots of north wind going on uh, it was kind of a fern situation it's also a, a crossing of the Alps basically so pressure difference so wind was quite strong I had to figure out a cool takeoff spot and I found it so just 10 minutes after 8 I wanted to, I took off and I wanted to go for a basically just a sled ride to the next mountain but I catched another thermal mixture of soaring thermaling and so I made my way through all the way to the beach the best point was really flying out over the sea uh, it's getting very tricky when you come towards the sea the sea breeze starts to come in and then uh, the landing options get less and then you you fly out and then it's kind of a strange feeling but at the same time you see the sea and you think okay i've made it there's no nowhere else to go like it's over here just this by itself is the best experience you can have so yeah my my team was essential to achieve all this it's more a team race than it ever was before and uh, so you have to have a good team that where everybody has his position and everybody knows what he has to do and then you can really achieve much more like uh, for example Holger was like the head of communications in my team he he tried to organize the, the team and make strategies for the days and then of course, my main supporter, Werner, um, he's the guy who just really takes care of me. <laughs> Basically, he, he, can, he just gives me everything I need. Uh, if I need food, if I need new clothes, he packs the bag that I need with my flying stuff. And uh, he needed a supporter as well, so he, he had uh, Andy with him this time. And uh, both of them were really doing great, uh, also with 
walking with me on the mountains. This was basically my core team. And then uh, I had also my girlfriend Lena with me and with a friend, with another friend. They were like a medical team. They were uh, trying to keep me on a good health state all the time, giving me massage and just, uh, yeah, it was, it was just a, a good extra in, in the team. And then there was David, <laughs> he's a crazy pilot. He's just so happy that he can be in this, in this with me because he just loves to fly wherever he, he gets. So I'm, I'm having a big advantage of him having him here because he can sometimes take off and I'm still not sure if the conditions are right already. It doesn't necessarily mean that we fly the whole way together. It just means that we start together and usually I go further, <laughs> no, but uh, I have to go further because it for me it's really race and he can just enjoy. Yeah, and then there is still Sarah in my team who I was doing this with uh, in 2011 and 2013. She was my main supporter by then. Now she is at home and she's totally, still totally crazy about Red Bull x so <laughs> she sits in front of the computer anyway and checks all the live tracking and then at the same time as she is a specialist by now about finding the perfect routes and all that for me. She does that on the computer as well and it was an amazing trip with all those amazing people and this is what I wanted to go for. I wanted to go for a, a cool experience with friends and we wanted to have fun on the way and don't necessarily only um, think about the pressure there is and, and only thinking about competition but just to go for fun and cool trip. Yeah, so now that I had time to check the vlogs <laughs> and check all the comments and all the likes and all the positive feedback I got, I, I feel like really, really happy about all this and I'm happy that I did it because I could give you an impression of what I'm doing here. Uh, I hope you keep on following me because this, is, this will not be it for now. I mean, for now it is done. Xerps is over, but there's lots of stuff coming up. Um, I'm planning to go for a big trip with my airplane in the, from Alaska to many, many countries. And I'm planning on doing this vlog again on this trip. But, uh, it was a great experience for me to, to give that Xerps feeling to you. And uh, now I keep on reading the comments because there's so many that I couldn't, still couldn't read all of them. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a great time for me and now I'm off for a beer and having a party and probably won't take long until I'm so tired that I have to sleep. Maybe two hours, I think two hours after the ceremony. So let's go. Finishing on the third place for the third time. Together with his supporter, Werner Schlebel, they covered 2,400. <laughs> what a performance. I'm gonna have withdrawal symptoms because his vlog probably ends tonight. And I was standing and getting up every single day with the vlog of Paul Kuchopa. And he mentioned it already in the last vlog. He is looking forward to show it to his kids one day what they did when he was young. Congrats to you, Martin, Chapeau, and Ron.